Hey guys, welcome back to this incredible donation from Jill. Man, thank you so much. I have no words to describe this. I'm 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 really speechless. Thank you so much. So, are you curious? I surely am. Come on. So, as you can see, this donation is composed of two boxes. So, I'm going to start with this one. So, here we go. Yeah. This one this box right here is the is the heaviest one. So I wonder what's inside what Jill has sent me. He said he was gonna he was gonna um, send me some uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 games that were gathering dust. Yeah. So I'm already looking at. Uh, yeah, posters or magazines and stickers. Yeah, this thing on a spring 364. I, this is related to the Commodore 64. Yeah, a sticker, another sticker of Bruce Lee, an amazing game. I haven't played the C64 version, but I absolutely love the ZX Spectrum version of Bruce Lee. What an amazing! Amazing game, yeah. And uh, what's this? Digital memories. Is it a chip tune CD? The best of Commodore 64 Volume One. Digital memories, yeah. A, C a, a DVD. A DVD. This isn't a CD. It's a DVD. Yeah. With tons of uh, music, ship tunes. I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar. Last Ninja, Three Myth, Ocean Loader, Rambo, First Blood Part Two. The man. Say Sid Collection. Yeah. This has some incredible ship tunes. Elysian Triage, Dutch Breeze, Electric Cafe. Deus Ex Machina Man, I, I have to listen to this, but uh, it's a DVD, not a, not a CD I have to check this, man, yeah Really curious about this Digital Memories Commodore 64, best of Oh yeah, volume 1 Yeah, 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 man And uh, yeah, this uh, Retro Gamer, these uh, were uh, extra extra little books that probably yeah came bundle bundle with um, the retro gamer magazine that amazing magazine British magazine related to to retro games and this is uh, mini mega the mini mega mega drive companion with um, yeah probably the best best mega drive games ever made yeah man desert strike and stuff Man, I love this game. Devil Crash, MD Devil Crash. That is also known as Devil Crash, isn't it? Yeah, Dragons. Yeah, Dragons Fury. Yeah, Dragons Fury. Sonic, obviously, man, incredible. Thank you so much, because uh, these retro gamer magazines are quite hard to find here uh, uh, around the place I live in. Um, it's more easier for me to find the Spanish edition of Retro Gamer but um, even so the Retro Gamer, the British uh, original is also sold here in Portugal but uh, yeah, only on the big city <laughs> you know, like Lisbon yeah, another one from Retro Gamer the, the mini SNK companion I wasn't aware that this was a thing that uh, the retro gamer would uh, yeah, would bundle the, the game with the, these mini guides. Man, so many great SNK games. Man, incredible Metal Slug, obviously. Yeah, Freeze 64, the ultimate gaming fanzine for your Commodore 64. Yeah, 
I believe that I have a similar one that came bundled with uh, uh, that uh, Commodore 64 in pixels. Yeah, from Chris Wilkins. Commodore 64, a computer that I that I only had the, the chance to 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 play around over at a friend's house. I had only one friend that owned the Commodore 64. It wasn't that popular here in Portugal. The ZX Spectrum was everything. Everyone was buying a Spectrum. And that's why I also had a Spectrum and not a Commodore 64. Oh yeah, just like Sega. When Sega arrived, everyone wanted to have a Sega. Yeah, a Mega Drive or a Master System. No one, practically no one cared about the, the, the NES and the Super Nintendo here in Portugal. Now some stickers, yeah, that came uh, with those mini guys, I guess. The SMK 40th Anniversary Collection and the Mega Drive. Uh, some stickers for, uh, yeah, iconic stuff for the Mega Drive, like uh, Golden Axe and uh, Gunstar Heroes, uh, Altered Beast, Man, Turrican, um, not Turrican, uh, Shinobi, <laughs> Turrican. Um, man, yeah, Fatal Fury, man, Metal Slug, uh, yeah, you carry Warriors and stuff. Man, amazing stuff. Official Sega seal of quality. <laughs> that sticker that used to come um, on the on the box, on the cover, on the on the boxes of uh, Mega Drive games, and now a retro gamer poster of C64 related to the C64. Amazing! I have to, I have to put put these on the wall. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of posters here. I have to put this on the wall, man. And the art of Bob Wakelin. Bob Wakelin that sadly left us this year, 2018. Look at this. I made a tribute, a video tribute to to Bob's work. Yeah, he made the covers from so many awesome games that came from Ocean and Imagine Software. Amazing stuff. Man, thank you so much. These these posters are incredible. Yeah, Qbert. The arcade. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, return. This is uh, from. Um, this is from uh, uh, another magazine, I guess. I'm not. I'm not uh, sure about that. These. These. I guess that these. Uh, yeah, Marvel Madness. These aren't from Retro Gamer. Please tell me, where did you get these posters, man? Thank you so much for sending them. Amazing, amazing stuff. You know that I absolutely love arcade stuff. The arcades were really important in my youth. Discs of Tron by Midway. Amazing stuff. Oh yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, 720 degrees. Amazing. I remember this this arcade never played it back then but I used to watch other other players playing it other gamers other arcade enthusiasts oh man and space invaders amazing yeah space invaders what a groundbreaking game and sub from Sega Oh yeah, awesome man, I have to pull up these posters and I have to pick a few and put them on the wall, Joust, yeah, Joust, is it? Joust, I guess that it's the way it's pronounced, Joust, by Williams, oh yeah, and oh, a Zap 64, this was uh, yeah, but this one, yeah, this one came uh, bundled with Retro Gamer. I recall seeing this uh, recently, uh, this year, I believe. 
This one came bundled with uh, the Retro Gamer magazine, the British Retro Gamer, and features a bunch of interviews and stuff, I guess. Yeah, interviews to um, those guys that used to, to write uh, reviews for the, the original Zap64 magazine back in the day. Yeah, Ole Toro, a Spanish game that was highly criticized in the UK, but it was a huge hit in Spain. Oh yeah, man, thank you so much, Oliver Frey, the art of Oliver Frey. Oliver Frey was the one that used to cre create the covers for Zap64 back in the day. Oh yeah, and I have uh, the fantasy art of Oliver Frey, that amazing, amazing book that I managed to to buy uh, through through um, Kickstarter, yeah, and uh, now I, an envelope, an envelope with CDs inside, yeah. Now let's open it and see what's inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this? Uh, oh man, what's this, man? Retro. Retro. Is this music retro? This only says retro and has Space Invaders uh, stuff going on. Is is this music? Man, if it is. Oh man, retro number two with a boss, the second boss of our type. Oh man, I have to. Yeah, I have to discover what's inside, what's in it. Retro number three with a guy uh, in a, his computer. What's this, man? Oh, I'm intrigued. Retro number four with Pac Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pac Man. And uh, retro number five. I don't recall this. Uh, this robot is it Turrican? Uh, probably not. Hmm. I don't know, but uh, I'm intrigued. Oh man, Retro Gamer Six. Oh man, do you are you recalling this? Oh yeah. And uh, Retro Gamer Seven, number seven, is has to be placed right here. <laughs> I guess. Man. Uh, What's this? Retro number nine, some cars with um, the colors of the ZX Spectrum. Oh yeah, man, eh. Jesus, what's this? Retro number 10, with some RPG stuff going on. Uh, tell me, I don't recall these characters, but uh, you probably will, you probably will, yeah. Retro number 11, classic puff bomb, frets on fire, gate 88. This has probably demos and uh, demos and uh, stuff. Yeah, frets on fire, gate 88, gravitation ash, mutant frets, scrimper, snatch, tro tornado, warmux, chick. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I have to. Put these uh, these discs, this DVD or CDs, I don't know, on my PC and uh, yeah, see what's what's all about. What they're all about. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. Now let's dig onto uh, games, <laughs> man. Come on. Yeah, let's start off with prototype. Never played it and never owned it and. Uh, these are all in mint condition, brand new. Incredible, thank you so much, man. I can't thank you enough. Darksiders, another, this this is a freaking amazing game. I've played this one on the PC and I have it on the PC. It came bundled with a magazine here in Portugal. And now I have the PlayStation 3 version. Also, brand new, man, incredible. Infamous, another game that I haven't played and everybody says that it's a freaking amazing game. Infamous, oh yeah. Moving on, Army of Two. 
the 40th day. Another one that I haven't played. Man, so many games to play. The Saboteur. Saboteur? <laughs> Another one that I haven't played, man. Incredible stuff. The Darkness. Another one that I haven't played. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, I have no words then. Mercenaries 2 World in Flames, I have the first one on the PlayStation 2. And I haven't played this one yet. Yeah, now I have it. <laughs> Thank you. Folklore. This is uh, kind of hard to come across, at least here in Portugal. Folklore. And I heard awesome things about this game. Tell me down in the comments section. If you've played Folklore. Red Faction Guerrilla, another one that I don't have, man. I haven't played this one. Again, every every single one of these games are brand new. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This this was an amazing game. I prefer the, the second one, Modern Warfare 2. But this was groundbreaking, an amazing, an amazing game. I have this one on the PC and I absolutely love the Modern Warfare stuff. The Club from Sega, another one that I haven't played and I, I know so little about all these games from Bizarre Creations. Yeah, I didn't know that this game was made by Bizarre Creations. Man. Oh, here's Modern Warfare 2, my favorite from the Call of Duty Modern Warfare stuff. This is an amazing game. That level, that airport level, is one of those things that will that will remain in my mind for the end of times. You know, amazing game. Yeah, Mirror's Edge. This one I've played on the PC. It's an amazing game. I haven't played the second one yet. But this was so groundbreaking, incredible stuff. FIFA 9, yeah, my my kid loves this game. I have it on the Xbox 360, and he absolutely loves this game. And these games are freaking amazing to play with friends when they come over. Now Heavy Rain, oh man, this is a masterpiece. One of my favorites on the PlayStation 3. Incredible game. I absolutely loved it. Fear 2, Project Origin, never played the F Fear 2. Fear 1, I was all over the place with Fear 1 on the PC, but I never played the second one. Yeah, and now I have it. Yeah, and I have the chance to play it. Assassin's Creed, the very first one. I don't have the PlayStation 3 version of uh, Assassin's Creed. Don't know which one is best. I have it on the 360 and I've played it on the 360 and finished it. I'm now trying to finish the third one. Fallout 3, an amazing, amazing Fallout game. The third one was incredible stuff. I played it on the PC. Hey man, all these games are in mint condition. Jill, thank you so much, man. I can't thank you enough. Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Never played the, Ve the the second one from the Rainbow Six Vegas series. Yeah, I've played it. The first one I've played on the PC. Yeah, I'm, as you know, I, I'm a huge PC gamer. And many of these games, these multi-platform games, I've played them on the PC. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. I've played it and I have it, but but I don't recall this this cover. Yeah, yeah. Here's the one that I have, the one I played on my system. I never saw this this cover. Are you familiar with it? Is this ah uh, okay? This is the American release of Metal Gear Solid 4. The Godfather 2 played it on the PC. What an amazing game. I've mentioned it on one of my videos related to Hollywood games, games based on movies. Godfather 2 is an amazing game. I prefer the first one, uh, but this second one is also 
a great, great game. Now moving on, the last, I guess, the last one for the PlayStation 3, Borderlands. Man, <laughs> this is an amazing game. I played it on the PC also. And um, it has quite a, an interesting story behind its development. Yeah, from Gearbox. Amazing game. Now I have uh, um, a PlayStation Portable game. Um, I don't own yet any portable system. Yeah, but the PSP and the Vita is something that, I, that I'm uh, really looking forward to grab in the near future. So here's Ridge Racer 2 for the PSP. Um, I don't know anything about this game. Yeah, but it's a racing game and I love racing games. Oh yeah. Man, a couple of sealed games. Yeah, for the Vita. A couple of sealed games for the Vita. Metal Gear Solid HD Collection for the PlayStation Vita. Man, I have, I have uh, this HD Collection on the PlayStation 3. I don't know if there's a resemblance between the two. I don't, don't know anything about this release and the other sealed game for the Vita Need for Speed Most Wanted yeah from Criterion an amazing game I've played this but I, I, yeah I, I don't own a Vita but um, it's a system and as, as I said it's a system that I'm really looking forward to grab and uh, a PlayStation 1 game that I didn't have yeah Final Fantasy 7 <laughs> why not Final Fantasy 7 a groundbreaking game that uh, as you know it's been remastered uh, remastered uh, rebooted or remastered something yeah but um, this was the one that really left a huge mark back in the day not for me cuz um, by then I wasn't really into uh, role-playing games anymore because um, by this time 98 97 I don't know 97 yeah um, man I was uh, into other things like music and uh, by then I ended up selling my entire PS1 collection to buy stuff for my drum kit you know oh a Dreamcast game Choo Choo Rocket, never played this one, but I've heard that it's a pretty cool game, puzzle game, I believe. It's missing, uh, no, it's not missing a disc, the disc is right here, it's only one disc, I guess, but uh, yeah, complete with manual, man, incredible stuff, my Dreamcast collection is really small, it was a system that I didn't own back then. I only managed to grab my... Yeah, I used to play over at friends' houses. Wild Metal from DMA Design. Man, Wild Metal, this this one uh, misses the boxes, the box. Wild Metal from DMA Design, from the guys that made uh, Lemmings, the guys that made Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar <laughs> stuff, Wild Metal. I don't know anything about this game. But I wanna find out. Oh yeah, man! Thank you so much. Incredible stuff, hey, man! I, um, now I have here a bunch of uh, 360 games. Oh, here's a a PlayStation 3. Yeah, Just Cause 2. I didn't own this one, and I haven't. I uh, know I I played it on the PC, and uh, yeah, this is. A freaking amazing edition the limited edition of just cause 2 yeah with this sleeve man yeah incredible stuff amazing stuff man just cause 2 with an embossed title man incredible stuff I have to play this game all over again all over again because I practically don't remember what this game is about is it's about blowing stuff up <laughs> Uh, but uh, I don't recall its story or <laughs> plot or whatever. 
Now for 360 stuff. Dark Sector. Never played it. Another one that I don't know anything about. Yeah, I don't freaking know anything about this game. Dark Sector. And I thought that, that this game was from Sega. But yeah, I guess I'm mistaken. Yeah, Dark Sector for the 360. Eternal Sonata. Another game that is praised by everyone. And it even includes Portuguese quick start guide or something. Yeah, it has a, a, the manual as Portuguese language. <laughs> amazing, amazing from Nemco. Eternal Sonata, another game that is quite difficult to come across, I guess, here in Portugal. A classi classics edition of Dead Rising. I haven't played the first Dead Rising and I absolutely love this series. This is such an amazing and funny game to... <laughs> yeah man, I laugh so hard when I watch videos on YouTube about this game. It's incredible. Now moving on to Ox, Tom Clancy's Ox. I've heard awesome things about this game. Yeah, Tom Clancy's In the Skies, you know. Like Ace Combat. That sort of thing. Another one, Splints, Splinter Cell Double Agent. Another one that I've played on the PC, but I didn't have the the, 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 the console ports or versions. Yeah, man, I have to play this. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Amazing stuff. Bionic Commando from Capcom. I've heard mixed things about this game, but uh, yeah, as you know, this started as an arcade game back in the 80s man I, and I was eager to try it out and now I have the chance to do it moving on to Bioshock one of my favorite games on the 360 what an amazing and incredible incredible game man Sega Rally what an amazing racing game reboot or something from yeah the good old Sega Rally I have uh, the PlayStation 3 version of this game and I have to try the 360 game and compare it with the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 game is also amazing. Man, I've heard stuff about this game, but I don't know anything about it. Resonance of Fate. I don't know how to pronounce correctly this word, but I guess this is one of those games that are really hard to come across. Another one from Sega, man. This has to be freaking amazing. The artwork. Man. Oh man, so many games that I have yet to discover. Mainly, for, mainly from this generation. Gears of War. The Japanese <laughs> uh, Platinum Edition of Gears of War, of War. The first one that I've played on the PC. And that was a freaking amazing experience all of them are freaking amazing games I've played all of them on the PC except for this last one oh yeah the Japanese <laughs> the Japanese NTSC release man I don't know <laughs> where you got this but uh, yeah man a brand new sealed game for the 360 that I have uh, the PlayStation 3 version and it's an amazing game. Need for Speed The Run. Man, this is an amazing Need for Speed game. This has a cinematic story and we play as a sort of an actor who has to go from point A to point B all across the United States. Being chased by cops and uh, stuff. Man, this is an incredible game and it was is so underrated. Whoa, another game that I I haven't played, don't know anything about this. Ridge Racer, Unbound, Unbounded, yeah, Unbounded, the limited edition that includes three cars and five paint jobs. Pac-Man, <laughs> Galaga, Tekken, Soul Calibur and Ace Combat. Man, I have to play this. I love racing games and I haven't played this one and I don't know anything about this one. <laughs> Incredible stuff. I'm loving to discover all this amazing Bayonetta 
another amazing game the the version that everyone should play the 360 version some say i have the playstation 3 game and i i didn't find anything awkward or strange oh man another sega a game from sega by monolith condemned to i haven't played this one don't know anything about this it's yeah it's an horror game a terrifying descent into chaos oh yeah condemned to i haven't played this one nor the first one yeah i don't know anything about the series to be to be honest time shift from sierra by sierra time shift I haven't played also this one don't know anything about this man i i'm i'm completely blown away by this now this one this one is a, a bit damaged yeah but it's a classics edition of battlefield bad company from uh, yeah publisher not publisher the developer dice that was known as uh, digital illusions and brothers amazing pinball games during the 90s for the amiga and for the pc another sealed game gears of war 3 man completely sealed brand new man incredible stuff i played it on the pc and loved it an incredible game and uh, yeah this is the one that supports 3d and i have a 3d tv and i absolutely love 3d 3d games another classics edition this time around a lost lost planet the extreme condition lost planet extreme condition colonies edition that has new playable characters new multiplayer modes and maps and powerful new weapons i didn't know anything about uh, a this this edition this colonies edition i've played the, the the normal version but i didn't know that there was a colonies edition i don't know if uh, it was only available uh, on this classics but yeah probably yeah amazing amazing game i have to play it all over again <laughs> to discover new stuff man another sealed game a limited edition of ace combat i love this franchise ace combat assault horizon limited edition man completely sealed brand new <laughs> man thank you so much um I'm speechless, I have no words to, to thank you enough, man. Incredible stuff. Ace Combat is back, baby. <laughs> and damn, it's looking good. Another sealed game made with this 3D holographic or stuff uh, edition of Red Faction Armageddon. And it's, it's sealed, man. It's <laughs> incredible stuff. And why not a Rockstar game? L.A. Noir, what an incredible, incredible experience. I absolutely love this game. It's an amazing, amazing, an amazing story. Incredible, man. Devil May Cry 4. I've played the, the first two games on this franchise. Needless to say that I haven't played this one. <laughs> Devil May Cry 4, I have to dig into this amazing franchise once again. Halo 3, an amazing, amazing game. I absolutely loved, man, the first one, the second one, but the third one on the Xbox was the first Xbox 360, yeah, the first Halo game on the 360. And it's freaking, it was a freaking amazing experience. Oh man, a couple of uh, Kinect, uh, Kinect games. Yeah, I don't have the Kinect. So, yeah, Zumba Fitness. <laughs> Join the party! Yeah, these, these games are only playable using the Kinect, I believe. My wife would appreciate this, but I have to to get a yeah requires a Kinect Kinect sensor. I have to to try and grab a Kinect. Oh yeah, these are my first games, Kinect games, and Kinect Adventures. This has to be awesome. Yeah, I never played these games. Connect stuff. Never tried. And pray. I've heard awesome things about this game, but I never, never played. Produced by 3D Realms. Oh man, this has to be awesome. Tell me down in the comment section, man. 
What do you think about all these games? Because many of them I've never played and I don't know anything about Far Cry 2. Yeah, I have this one on the PC and played on the PC. Yeah, amazing game. Amazing game. And this was the last Far Cry game that I've played. I never played Far Cry 3, 4. Never played those. Oh, yeah. But this one was a freaking amazing, amazing experience. And oh, here's the first fear the one that I've played. Amazing game. Incredible stuff. Yeah. Oh man, Grand Theft Auto 4. I truly loved this game back in the day. I played it and I have it on the on the pc and i loved it i mean it has a really interesting story yeah it's a bit short yeah i can agree with that it's a bit short but it's an incredible incredible experience an incredible game incredible and <laughs> yeah here's number five this is mambo number five grand theft auto 5 one of my favorite games ever made and with a, a loose disc yeah incredible stuff what a game man oh yeah man i'm truly amazed with all this come on assassin's creed 2 oh, yeah this one i played an amazing game an amazing game i'm as i said before i'm uh, trying to finish the third one to um, yet yeah, to be able to advance to yeah to all others that came after i know that i will be disappointed this isn't you know this hasn't the 3d function but the third one is uh, yeah it's playable with uh, 3d now a mass effect game and sealed completely sealed man this is the one that i haven't played from the the original trilogy mass effect 3 i have still to to play it I love the first couple of games from this original trilogy. Oh man, I have to start playing this. Oh man, I love this game. On the, I have it on the PC. Raymond Origins. What an amazing game. <laughs> Incredible stuff. And uh, man, these, these games are all in mint, mint condition, extreme, fantastic condition. Brand new. Saints Row 2. Here's a, a franchise. A series that I have never played not only one but I have to start playing the Saints Row this is this is a sort of uh, tribute to Grand Theft Auto or something and here's Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City uh, standalone yeah standalone expansions to Grand Theft Auto 4 that it's not required to play these uh, these two expansions or episodes man the lost and the damned i play them on the pc i have them on the pc the lost and the damned and the ballad of gay tony an incredible couple of episodes that complements perfectly uh gta 4 oh yeah it says only on xbox 360 but uh, yeah it's also on the on the, the on windows and it was also later released for the PlayStation 3, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, this <laughs> man, I absolutely love the Grand Theft Auto franchise. It's the first one, the very first one. Batman, Arkham Asylum. What an incredible series! I absolutely love Batman. Batman is my favorite comic character ever since the ZX Spectrum. That I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the Batman games and the comics and the movies the first Batman movie from um, uh, Tim Burton is still my favorite Batman movie man incredible stuff Enslaved Odyssey to the West from Namco never played it but I've heard so many great things about this one Enslaved left for that too never played it these these games these uh, zombie games and stuff are games i have to be careful when playing this because my my kid uh, it's always uh, here around my man cave and uh, i have to be extremely careful when playing these games so i have to play them yeah uh, at night 
when uh, when he's already asleep. So I have so many horror games to play in my backlog, you know. Man. And this is one of those. Uh, this is now one of those because I didn't have this one on my collection. <laughs> yeah, Splinter Cell Conviction, another Splinter Cell game that I haven't played. Man, I, I absolutely loved the original trilogy on the PC, PS2 and Xbox, original Xbox. And these new ones, I haven't played. Ah, man, I'm so, so little time, you know, to play all these games. FIFA Street, another game that I haven't played. Man, any of the, the, the games from this series, Street series, I don't know how many are they. Um, yeah, <laughs> man, I have to play this with my kid. He loves soccer games. So, so little time. Stranglehold. I recall this game by John Woo. Yeah, John Woo presents Stranglehold. I recall, um, man, so many, so many images and the trailers from this game back when it was released. But I never played any of the versions available. But I have to. Damn it. <laughs> Man, a sealed game, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Ooh, this, this is a gigantic game that I started playing on the PC and I have it on the PC, but I never managed to finish it because this, this is so gigantic, man. And now I have a sealed Xbox 360 version. Amazing. Another sealed game, Fear 3. Hey, man, I have the old Fear games, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> The third one, never played. Never played this one. It's the scariest horror game franchise ever. Poo. Man, I have to play this. Another one that will yeah, remain in my backlog till I have uh, time to play it when, uh, when no one is looking. Another sealed game. Deus Ex Human Revolution Limited Edition Human Revolution is one of my favorites on the PlayStation 3. Never played the 360 version, but I played on the PlayStation 3. What an amazing game, amazing experience, incredible. I love this franchise. Oh man, and this is the limited edition that includes explosive mission pack. Thank you, Need for Speed Shift. This is a series that I have to bring to the channel because no one talks about it. It's an amazing series from these guys, where are they? The slightly, yeah, slightly mad studios that are responsible for the project cars, games, couple of games, and the shift and shift to unleashed are incredible, incredible games. And no, no one talks about these games, man. Mass Effect, the first one. This is a, this is a masterpiece. The second one is better, but this one was groundbreaking. An incredible experience back in when it was released and still is an incredible experience. Another Need for Speed game, Hot Pursuit. This is a freaking awesome game. I absolutely love this game. And uh, man, I have to try and compare again. I have to compare this game to the PlayStation 3 version. Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter, a game that I absolutely loved on the PC. Incredible, amazing stuff. I love the Tom Clancy stuff, um, man. Oh man, these were the days when the Tom Clancy's was well represented. I don't play that much recent games based on this author of amazing books. Man, this is a freaking amazing game. Another sealed game. Yeah, another, another Saints Row game, the third. Saints Row, the third, completely sealed. This is a crazy, crazy series, if I'm not mistaken, never played any of the Saints Row games. But I have to do it <laughs> sooner or later. Gears of War 2, what an amazing, another incredible game that I've played on the PC. What an incredible, incredible uh, series, franchise. Another sealed game from the creators of Doom and Quake. Eat Software, obviously. Rage. Completely sealed. Oh uh, man, winner of more than 20 E3 awards. Yeah, no doubt. Another one that I haven't played. This is the last one from this box. Uh, yeah, another one sealed, Dragon Age 2. 
another series that I haven't played. Oh man, so many games to play. I have no words, man. And I have still one box <laughs> to open. So let's do it. Let's uncover its contents. Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. This box is packed with the hardware stuff, I guess. And let's start with this 360 docking station. The easy way to transfer data between your Xbox 360 hard drive or memory card to any PC. I, I wasn't aware that uh, this was a thing. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, man, it's uh, complete with stuff. Yeah, man, I, I have to, to, to discover this later. Incredible. And as a, a bonus, an Xbox memory card adapter included. Man, I didn't know that this existed. An Xbox 360 wireless headset, didn't own one. Man, and this is brand new, sealed, never used. Thank you so much, man. This is awesome, man. To have all these accessories for the 360, that is, was a really huge um, and extremely important console in my gaming life. Here's my PlayStation Classic. And uh, this one has a small note, an incredible condition, man, brand new. Without the box, I have the, the original release of the PlayStation, and I didn't own this uh, this small small form factor of the of the PS1. I have a a console bag for this in box, a console bag for um, for this PS1 console, and it says that this PS1 has a mod chip installed, just for information. <laughs> okay, and what's this? The complete. A to Z of Dreamcast cheats. <laughs> Why not? A book of cheats for Dreamcast games. Oh yeah, this is highly interesting. Oh man, oh man. I'm looking at something that was uh, after for a while and never managed to, to buy. And what's this? A PlayStation 3 game, the Eye of Judgment. Uh, what's this, man? An Eye toy camera, I guess. I don't know what's this. Yeah, PlayStation Eye included. Man, thank you so much. I don't, I don't know what's this about. It's a board game or something. Man, are you familiar with this? Tell me down in the comment section below. Tell me everything. And uh, man, these controllers. Uh, are still my favorite controllers. I don't. I never played with a an Xbox One controller, so this is still my favorite controller. Even I prefer this one to the PlayStation 4 uh, controller. I absolutely love these game pads. And here's another one, a white and a black one. Oh, man, in extreme perfect condition. Man, uh, thank you so much. These, 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 these are so damn awesome to have. I absolutely love this controller. I believe that this is from, uh, yeah, it's for, for the, the PS1 Mini <laughs> Classic. The power brick and uh, what's uh, what's this? Ah, oh, this is uh, to connect to my PC. I have already one of these connected to my PC that came bundled also with uh, with my black PS3 controller that I bought not only for the 360 but also to play games on the PC using that wireless device. Yeah, okay, what's this? Another sealed stuff. Play and charge kit. Play and charge kit continues continuous gameplay. Battery offers up to 25, for 25 hours of play per charge. I'm uh, still using <coughs> batteries, normal batteries, triple A batteries. So, this is awesome. Man, thank you so much. <laughs> Man, I, I don't have words. Almost reaching the end of this video. Look at this, man. 
an HD DVD for the Xbox 360 but I know that this is also I can plug this also to my PC and uh, have a portable a sort of portable uh, optical drive that, uh, that will read normal CDs and DVDs and has also a, an hub, an, a USB hub in the back I guess, I'm not sure about that this is a freaking piece of history thank you so much complete inbox incredible stuff finally the last item is a book oh man and, and it's from <laughs> The Mass Effect game that I'm yet to play. Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition. This is the official gamer guide from the game, the Mass Effect game that I haven't played. Man, again, thank you so much for your kindness. Uh, th this is so overwhelming, man. I, I don't have words to describe this. I Thank you so much. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm so humbled. And. Uh, these all these games and all this stuff has came to a, a place and when where they're all gonna be extremely well preserved and loved you know that thank you so much for watching guys i truly appreciate it and i'll see you all in my next video cheers